home to 103 shops, 63 dining venues, and 22 different events, attractions, and shows. There's a lot to love at Disney Springs, but today we're going over some of my personal favorites when it comes to visiting this location. I'm gonna try and touch on all three of those categories, shopping, dining, and the special attractions and events. Let's start with some dining. First up on our list is the City Works Poor House. We experienced this right around the opening day. It's one of the latest dining venues at Disney Springs and features a really unique menu. We've tried brunch and lunch, and I gotta tell you, the brunch menu is what really blows me away. What we're looking at right here is the lunch and dinner menu, and it's great, it's got some great items there. The burgers, love those burgers, I wanna come back for even more. But this is one, if you're looking for some amazing dining at Disney Springs, the uh, City Works Poor House is truly up there. The City Works Poor House has indoor and outdoor seating. If it's warm enough, no, not right now, if it's warm enough, outdoor seating is fantastic here because you're kind of walking by not too loud, not too many people going by, great views. City Works Poor House is located next to Cirque du Soleil, which is really easy to find as that big white structure right at the end of Disney Springs. My favorite meal here is the brunch. If you're going for one, the brunch is the one I would prioritize here at City Works Poor House. Next on my list is a combo of dining and an attraction. It's Splitsville Luxury Lane. Now, when you think of bowling, you may not think of sushi, but Splitsville here at Disney Springs has some delicious food. I've tried a burger and I've I've tried some sushi as well. It's all really, really good. The sushi's one I can definitely recommend. One of my all-time favorites is the grilled avocado and ahi tuna. Delicious, delicious sushi. Again, you don't think of it with bowling. Let me tell you, it's delicious and a fun activity to end an evening. Splitsville has indoor and outdoor seating along with bar seating inside and outside. When it gets cold out, they've got those heat lamps and they've also got live music during certain nights. You can find Splitsville right by the exit of the Orange Garage. If you see the large balloon in the air, you know you're close. During certain times of year, there are special activities happening around Disney Springs. One of them is the special DJ parties that you can find around and certain times of year, you can find kind of more isolated ones right over here by the food truck. It's great for if you want more of a private party over here, but again, only certain times of year. In addition, food trucks are right next to it. My recommendation between these three, hot diggity dog. Merry Christmas. Love your sleigh. There you go. Dancing Santa. <laughs> That's one of those things that makes Disney Springs extra special. There's always something unique happening here. Remember a couple years ago, there were actually drones in the sky to celebrate the holidays. Now we've got something else. Disney uses Disney Springs as a testing ground for many things that eventually make their way to parks and other areas around Disney. But it's a great spot to kind of see a preview of things that may be making their way around or that Disney may just test and not bring anywhere else. It's cool to see it that way. Next up, Planet Hollywood. Now the idea behind Planet Hollywood is to take the magic of movies and bring it to us as we're enjoying our food. Now this is not a unique spot to Disney Springs. You can find other Planet Hollywoods around, but the food is truly spectacular. Now we've tried several items from Planet Hollywood, but my favorite still is Guy Fieri's very special burger. It is fantastic. Definitely makes my top five burgers at Walt Disney World. Not saying something right there. You know me, I love burgers. A great list of other appetizers as well. It's had some appetizers, love them all. Definitely a great spot for a dinner or lunch. Planet Hollywood. Yum. Next up is a relatively new find for me personally, Wolfgang Puck here right by Planet Hollywood, which is right behind us there. The pizza here is outstanding. So far, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite pizza at Disney Springs. If you're looking for pizza, this might be your spot at Disney Springs. There's other ones around Walt Disney World. But yeah, love that. The atmosphere is also super relaxing inside of Wolfgang Pucks, which I really enjoy. I think that's just kind of a, a nice added feature to Wolfgang Pucks. Some of the outdoor seating can be, you know, a little louder. So having that nice, quiet indoor seating sometimes, yeah, I love it. In addition to the sit-down dining area, they've also got a to-go window here by Wolfgang Pucks where you can find salads, milkshakes, drinks, and of course, some specialty desserts. T-Rex is extremely unique. Not only do they have a gift shop right outside of the restaurant that you can experience even if you're not eating here, which includes some really cool items that you can collect beyond shirts and all those apparel items, they've also got their own custom Build-A-Bear area. Now, if you've done the Build-A-Bear experience before, you know where we have here. It's the Build-A-Bear Build-A-Dino experience. We have the same general concept. You pick your favorite looking friend, whether it's a sloth or a T-Rex or a Brontosaurus or a Brachiosaurus or even a, maybe they have raptors over there, all sorts of creatures. And then you fill them 
full of fluff with these fluff machines here. You fill them full, the uh, team members here will help you do that. Then you dress them up in your favorite apparel. You can do this all right here without having to dine at the experience. Now dining here is also amazing. Now in addition to the shirts and the hats and plush toys and all sorts of other night lights, mugs, pens, you can find some very unique items that you can only find here at T-Rex, including the geode splitter. My sister Michelle and I did this together. You pick your very own geode right back there and then you split it up with this very cool machine. It's an awesome experience. Imagine Rainforest Cafe, but with dinosaurs, you can see the T-Rex up front comes to life right there as you make your way in. Leaning down over the guests, roaring, and then from time to time, you'll actually see the uh, entire restaurant comes to life very similar to the Rainforest Cafe. The popularity of T-Rex is well known, so be sure to make those reservations in advance, or if you're a Landry's Club member, this is a Landry's restaurant. T-Rex is located right by the giant dinosaur, but if you can't find it, look for the boat called Paddlefish. Right over there, large boat, kind of in the central area of Disney Springs. Super popular and delicious food. Try the ribs. Amazing. Now let's move on to some of those desserts. One of my favorite dessert new finds at Disney Springs, Amaretz. Now Amaretz basically combines art and pastries together. They have these signature cakes with other delectable treats and it's a French style bakery. So it's actually made with that style and those amazing uh, bakers. I'm gonna call them bakers, but they're more like chocolatiers or master chocolate people. They're just so, so talented. It's all delicious. And during very special times of year, they have signature treats. Amaretz is located right by World of Disney. Not too hard to miss. Again, centrally located spot. Definitely worth going out of your way for, for dessert. One thing I do want to point out, Disney Springs has a very unique Starbucks. The one right here. They have two Starbucks here at Disney Springs, but this is the only one that has some very special menu items, including the winter drink specials like Melted Snowman and Snowball. They also have Holly Jolly and Barista Favorites. Listen to just the mouth of the snowman. Vanilla bean frappuccino with a cake pop blended in, topped with mocha and caramel drizzle. Does that not sound incredible? So this is very unique to this Starbucks, the one by World of Disney. Now one of my favorite dessert locations at Disney Springs is Ghirardelli. Deli Chocolate Fountain comes from San Francisco, California and brings the amazing, delicious ice cream and sundaes that you can find at the original spot in San Francisco. Now if you're looking for that standard delicious ice cream that you find here from Ghirardelli, and I recommend the hot fudge by the way, amazing, you can find it right here. If you order here, you can eat it inside usually and outside as well. But if you're looking for gifts or just a quick treat, there's actually a spot next to it. Inside the gift shop, you can find some delicious chocolates, all prepackaged in these to-go bins. We can bring them with you, and sometimes they have some really good deals, like two for 20. That's pretty good, especially for the holidays. But if you still want to order something, you can do it here from the to-go bar. And they have almost, not quite, but almost the full menu here as well. It's some new items, Gold Rush and Nacho Sunday. You might be trying those. Even some of those classic ones that you can see all over, they've got buy three, get one free here inside of the Ghirardelli store at Disney Springs. They've also got some items that you can make at home, like these fudge brownies look so good. And they've got some great gifts, mugs and more. The Rainforest Cafe and T-Rex are owned by the same company. So they're very similar in how they're themed. And I have to tell you, the food is equally good. That being said, you can find Rainforest Cafes around the world, not just here at Disney Springs. Somehow, to me, it's extra magical when you eat the food at Disney. I know, it's you know, just personal perception. Totally get that. But having the theme throughout, fish all around you and the jungle come alive as you eat, it's so magical. And I can see why it's around Disney. Now, there's no Build-A-Bear experience here at Rainforest Cafe, but they've got other merchandise, which is great. But the big reason, besides the food, stop by, eat, even if you're not eating, is that every 30 minutes almost exactly you'll see a very special eruption happen from that volcano here at disney springs if it's dark enough it basically illuminates this entire half of the spring it's very unique and if you find yourself at disney springs even if you're not eating at the rainforest cafe i recommend you stick around so you can just see that
Now tonight we're going to try and find a new favorite at Disney Springs, one that I have tried recently but I wanted David to try. It's Morimoto Asia for dinner. Inside Morimoto Asia for the first time sitting inside this dining area you can actually see chandeliers up above look fantastic, almost like rain coming down. Love that. We're going to try some new items today and I think David's going to try my ribs. From Morimoto Asia we're trying some unique items and David's trying those ribs. I, I convinced him. I said, David, this, this is it. The ribs. So he's going to try the ribs. I'm going to try a little bit with him. But we've got the duck ramen, which I heard is extremely good. We've also got those pork dumplings. Very, very excited. As an appetizer, it's going to be great. So just found out there's a complimentary photo that comes with your meal. Which really, really cool. Take a photo of us right here inside the restaurant to remember our dining experience. That I did not know. As far as I know, it's the only restaurant at Disney that has a complimentary photo. Starting off with the pork dumpling. Bon appetit. First bite of that dumpling, it's good. It is, but it's nothing outstanding. I was expecting like the most amazing dumpling of all time. It's okay. Nothing I'd go out of my way for though. And uh, I remember the ribs. Right? We're getting back to the ribs. Hold that thought for a minute. But dumplings are just kind of marginal. They're, they're okay. They're standard. Overall, dumplings, they're okay. You can go to Trader Joe's, pick up some dumplings. I would say you'd probably enjoy those dumplings quite a bit. They're all different. They're all unique. These are quite soft, but not personally something I would go out of my way for or probably not get again. Now, before we get back to the ribs that you know I love, I'm going to try some of the duck ramen. It has arrived. It looks amazing. It's that ramen noodles that we know and love, but with the duck. I heard it's really good. You ready? Let's try it together. There we go. That is extremely good. The duck flavor with ramen. You think to yourself, duck, does it really go? It goes. It absolutely goes there. You can definitely taste the saturation of the duck throughout the soup. And the noodles don't taste like standard ramen noodles. They taste like they're just better. Is that just better, softer, tiny bit more flavorful? Not the, the flavor comes from the duck, but yes, I definitely recommend that ramen. That's very good. As for the duck ramen, I would say it's good. It's got some nice flavor in the soup and in the noodles. It's not my favorite ramen I've ever had by any means, but it is better than the dumplings. The dumplings I thought were okay. I would say the ramen is good, but not my must-do ramen spot. I can't think of a lot of ramen spots at Disney though, so if you're really wanting ramen, I can't really think of another option, but I can't say I would prioritize this one. Follow-up thoughts on the duck ramen. I do like it, but after giving it more of a taste, the duck is the strongest flavor there. So if you know it's just the duck by itself, then it would just be equally amazing. The ramen's good. I mean, I like it. I would get it again, but not go out of my way for it. So if I'm at Morimoto, I know this is a good item, if I, especially if I want ramen. Those ribs, they look amazing. I might have one, but I remember how incredible they are. They're actually one of my favorite ribs. I love that flavor. It's almost like a, a maple-y. Korean barbecue sauce to it. it's so so good. I do think the ribs were the best item here. They have a nice unique flavor to them. Crispy fried with some spicy Korean barbecue maybe stylings on them. Those are nice ribs. Very unique ribs. It's tough to compare them to standard ribs but I am a fan. That is most definitely the item of the ones we tried that I would get again. I don't necessarily see myself coming back too intentionally for the ribs considering the quantity and the price point flavor was good, but there's so many amazing spots. I really want to make it back to Planet Hollywood for some of those burgers, which I feel like you can get plenty for about half the price, and I might prefer those flavors. Overall thoughts on Morimoto Asia, I really enjoyed the ribs. The other two were only okay. I can see myself coming back for the ribs, the ribs especially. That's the item I'd come back for. It's thanks to the Vasilian family. Thank you so much for the gift card. It means a tremendous amount. We looked, but Morimoto does not make my list of the must-sees absolute best of Disney Springs. Still good though. Still good. Disney Springs has some great dining experiences at Walt Disney World, and we're going to continue to update this list as we try even more in the future. In addition, we've got those special activities and, of course, the great shopping. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.